Hi, I'm Amber Soto, and welcome back to my math resource showcase. Yesterday, I showcased for you a strategy called Which One Doesn't Belong, and I shared a book by Christopher Danielson as a resource. Today, I wanted to stick with that same strategy, but share with you an online resource so you had a lot more options with what you could do to share. So here's my screen. I'm going to share with you that we can go to a tab, click W-O-D-B for which one doesn't belong, dot C-A. And you'll see here there's a lot of options, shapes, numbers, graphs across the top of the bar here. I'm going to start with shapes today. I think we'll do a numbers one tomorrow. So for shapes, there was a particular one that I really liked. You can see there's a whole bunch to do, but I enjoy these money ones. So just like yesterday, I'm gonna share with you how to do one, and then I'm gonna pose one for you to do on your own. So in this particular shape, you would ask, which one doesn't belong? Well, in this top left corner, you might say that this one doesn't belong because we can see the backs of the coins here. Where in the other three pictures, we see the front or the head that's on the front of the coin. Uh, you might choose this top right corner because you might say it's a different color than the others. These ones are all silver. This one's more of a coppery color because we're dealing with pennies. Uh, you might choose this bottom left corner because you might have figured out the value of each of the other boxes and you might say that's the one that doesn't match. Here we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 cents. Here if you counted them up, there's 25 pennies, so also 25 cents. And here's a 25 cent piece, whereas in this one, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 cents. So that might be the one that doesn't belong to you. Or you might say this bottom right corner doesn't belong because it's by itself. And so the rest of them have multiple coins and that one doesn't. Remember, there isn't a wrong answer as long as it can be justified. And there are a lot of right answers. So if I didn't say one that you were thinking, that's okay, it could be right too. The most important part of this process is the conversation that comes out of it. Okay, so you're gonna be doing shape 15. So if you can't find it again, go to wodb.ca and go under shapes and look for shape 15. So this is what it looks like. So I ask you, which one doesn't belong? Please enter your solution in the comments, but remember the most important part of this is the why. Tell me why you think that it doesn't belong so that you have the justification for your answer. I hope this generates some great math conversations and connections, and I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Um, remember that I'll post the solution for this one tomorrow, so stay tuned, and I'm excited to see what you put. In the meantime, happy mathing, everyone.